Stuff. Some of it's kind of covered. 
um, in other places, but uh, these were just some of some of the ways that I just use them that I thought might be handy and interesting. Um, so this one's for a good, good ratcheting. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into live and we want to do a loop op and we want to change the trigger pulse time for all of our trigger outputs. So I'm going to do L14, TR time I, and we want it nice and snappy. And we want to do 20. Then uh, also in live, I want to do sync and do minus one, uh, minus one. And that just means our everys and are all going to be linked together. Um, so let's do every four trigger pulse one. We'll get a kick. And then every nine, kick and a snare and that's nice um, but we want to do some interesting hi-hats so uh, we want to do A is zero and let's move that right to the top then we want to do every maybe we can do only every four every four we want to say A is one question mark if op so if a is true we want the number of repeats to be three otherwise one and we want to do a delay of 50 milliseconds in between each and then trigger pulse two there we go nice ratchets um, the, the flip side of this would be bad ratchets Hello, um, I'm going to do a couple of little micro tutorials um, with Teletype and I'm going to use the VCV version just for quickness and easiness. Um, these are stuff, some of it's kind of covered um, in other places, but uh, these are just some of, some of the ways that I just use them that I thought might be handy and interesting. Um, so this one's for good, good ratcheting. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into live and we want to do a loop op and we want to change the trigger pulse time for all of our trigger outputs. So I'm going to do L14, TR time I and we want it nice and snappy and we want to do 20. Then uh, also in live I want to do sync and do minus one, uh, minus one and that just means our everys and are all going to be linked together. Um, so let's do every four trigger pulse one. We'll get a kick. And then every nine, we'll do trigger pulse three. Okay, so we've got a kick and a snare, and that's nice. Um, but we want to do some interesting hi hats. So uh, we want to do A is zero and let's move that right to the top then we want to do every maybe we can do only every four every four we want to say hey is one and then i want to do del oops del r and then we want to use the question mark if op so if true we want the number of repeats to be 
side of this would be bad branches. There's no such thing, but we could do. Um, I'll show you what it's like without the, the little if. We'll do it on that. Oh, that's. tutorials um, with teletype and I'm going to use the VCD version just for quickness and easiness. Um, these are stuff, some of it's kind of covered um, in other places but uh, these are just some of some of the ways that I just use them that I thought might be handy and interesting. Um, so this one's for good, good ratcheting. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into live and we want to do a loop op and we want to change the hello this is the modcom what is the modcom um it's using the modulo op as a way of uh, extracting sort of binary data to drive triggers so a little bit like how a comparator works um or a comparator uh, so how do we do that? So first off, um, I'm going to give a just a random set of numbers from two to fourteen. Then I'm going to say that b is the remainder of a divided by two. Um, which will always give us a number that is either one or zero because that's how the modulo works. So if you have six and you divide it by two, you have no leftover. If you do five, um, you have two and remainder one. So we always get a one or a zero, which is great when dealing with if statements because if the statement is true, it's always one. Um, otherwise it's false and it's zero. So now I'm going to say CV1 is uh, the quantized pitch value of A with a root of zero in the major scale. Then I'm going to say if B is true, then do trigger pulse one. And with any luck, this should just start playing. Oops. Thank you. 
This is the modcom. What is the modcom? Hello again. Um, this one is called Fountains of Instability and it comes from the Dell M self script triggering recursion technique that Trent uh, has become very renowned for within the Discord and sort of flash crash lore. Um, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking that concept and having uh, a sort of waterfall or a fountain um, of scripts flowing into each other, triggering themselves and moving on to the next one and doing so. Um, so hopefully that is all obvious once we start going and I'll try and be as quick as possible. So uh, if we want to do del, no we don't, we want to do every 12 and then we want to say script2 and then we want to say break. Then we want to do del, so delay by metro, this script, so dollar dollar and then what do we want? We want some pitch information. So CV1, I'm just going to do random governs again. I'm going to say uh, random seven. Oops. Seven. Uh, C is our root, major is our scale. And then I'm going to do triggers on every second pulse. Let's see what that sounds like. It's quite nice. Um, so it stops playing itself. I'm triggering this by hitting the F1 key. And it will play 12 pulses worth of information and then stop. And what we're not seeing is that it's also, once it reaches 12, it's hitting script two, but we don't have anything in it yet. So let's add some stuff. So I'm going to do every 16. Then I'm going to do script three and break then del m uh, this script i'm going to do cv1 is quantize of what did we get seven last time let's go from seven to 15. c is our root major is our scale and I'm going to do every three this time. Uh, trigger pulse. One. And let's just hit F2 and hear what this sounds like. It's got a little bit of a different rhythm and the pitch is a little bit higher up compared to the first one. Um, I'm not going to hit that again just yet. And then for number three, I'm going to say every uh, every, 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 what am I going to do this time? Make it faster. Just do every eight. Should we? No, let's do every ten. Then we want to do script one. And, break. and we're basically creating a little loop here. Then del m, the script, and then we want our pitch. Uh, no, we don't. We're going to do something different this time. I'm going to do a little counter instead. So J equals 